I was so nervous that on the way to the movie theater, I stopped to buy socks. Why would you say that? Why did I buy socks? <laughs> Hey my jelly beans, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to tell you about my most cringy date. And honestly, if you know me, I don't go on many dates. This was the only date that I've really ever been on and it scarred me for life and made me not want to go on anymore. Partly because I'm awkward and partly because they were awkward too. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the Jelly Bean Squad. I do make a lot of videos about my sexuality and my life, so that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe. But this story is just insane and really embarrassing for me and the other person just because of how awkward we both were. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Not good at dating. I've made that completely clear throughout my life. But it all started out really normal. We matched on Tinder and we just started talking and we really talked for about three months and when I say he asked almost every day to meet me he asked almost every day to meet me and I ignored him I denied him at every chance I could because I am awkward it's just weird to me but meeting people to date after only talking to them over tinder and I oh, is really awkward and you don't know what that person's like you only know their personality from across the screen and when you meet them you're gonna realize that they're not fully the person that you're imagining and I'll say this guy was really nice every day he would message me good morning he would talk to me throughout the day and I'll say maybe I was leading him on because inside I never really felt like there would be anything why would you say that but I wanted to see where it went I wanted to talk to this person this was the first guy that I've ever actually tried to create a connection with never really wanted to do that but I met this person and they seemed like a really nice person and they seemed like someone that I could get along with so I wanted to talk to them I wanted something but I also didn't at the same time and I know that sounds really bad. You were leading them on. Don't judge me. I wanted to feel validated. We all need that sometimes, so don't judge me. After about three months of messages every day, Daddy, chill. Asking to hang out, I decided I would go to the movies with this guy, we would meet each other, and hopefully it would go right. Spoiler alert, it didn't, but I was hopeful. Maybe this would be my match made in heaven, my soulmate, the person that I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life. Yes, I was a little too optimistic for the first date that I ever went on but I was hopeful like that was it and I did not know what the fuck I was doing I was the most nervous I had ever been and you know I get nervous and I get awkward and I was really awkward I was really nervous I was so nervous that on the way to the movie theater I stopped to buy socks why would you say that why did I buy socks what the hell is even that they weren't even nice socks they were dollar general like three dollar socks why did I need those socks so badly where are those socks now I don't no. So I get to the movie theater and we go inside only to realize that we are an hour and a half early to our movie An hour and a half early. So we go and we sit in my truck and when I tell you he's staring at me He's staring at me and I want him to stop so I say let's go get food Because that'll keep my mind off of him staring at me in my passenger seat He's just looking at me and he won't stop. He won't stop looking at me and I'm like, dude, just stop. Finally, we go to Wendy's. And Wendy's is important to the story because... A redheaded bitch. She didn't have my back. It gets even more awkward. Sitting in the drive-thru. Reciting my order. And he's still just staring at me. Order something. And he doesn't. He just sits there as the person's saying, Is that all? I look at him and I go, are you going to order anything? What were you doing this whole time? You were staring at me. Stop staring at me and order your food. That was just really awkward. Afterwards, we still had about an hour. So we went to Target. And honestly, the whole time I was just trying to avoid him. I was going through and hiding in the clothes. Acting like I was being funny. Acting like we were having a good date. Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. But in my mind, I was just trying to hide from him. I was trying to be a little sneaky and get away. But he always found me. He just peeked over and stared at me and I don't have a problem with that but if I'm avoiding eye contact please don't do this <laughs> That's literally what he did the whole time and I wanted him to stop. I feel like this is a whole story time about this guy that just wouldn't stop staring at me. Eventually we got out of Target and we went to the movies and the whole time he sat there trying to hold my hand when in reality I don't even know you. Don't try and hold my hand. I am not a very affectionate person but the whole time he just kept trying to hold my hand. I would move away and honestly by the end of the movie I ended up almost a whole ass seat away. I kept scooting over because I was really uncomfortable. You know 
I did not like it. I did not want it. So don't do it. That's how I felt this whole time. Stop trying to hold my hands. Just watch the movie. By the end of the movie, we just walked out. I got in my truck and I was hoping that he would just leave, but he gets in my truck and he just stares at me awkwardly. Get out of my truck! For about 20 minutes, he just sat in my truck and we talked. We got to know each other a little bit, but it just wasn't working out for me. I really was not having a good time. So I slowly told him, get the f out of my car. I gotta go. And he got out and I went home. When I got home, I got a message from him. And when I tell you, he told me that he wanted to kiss me and my response, Thank God you didn't. And I, oh, that was my response. And I just made it super awkward. But thankfully, a week later, he ended up with another guy posting pictures of them kissing and saying that he was in love and thankful that he found the guy that he had been talking to for three months. Kind of weird. I am happy being single. If being single means I don't have to endure that again. But that was my story about my most cringy date that I've been on. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and coming back every single week. If you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the Jelly Bean Squad. But as always, stay free to my Jelly Bean. One. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like.